Hi friends, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make seafood pasta featuring shrimp and salmon. As always, all ingredients will be listed down in the description box below and don't forget to like, comment and share this video with a friend or two and subscribe to my channel. So now without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so I have here two salmon fillets that I prepped and cleaned. It is skinless and then also too is not shown here, but I have 12 shrimps that I had peeled and deveined as well. So we're going to start to season and I use the seasoning for on both shrimp and salmon. So I have here about some olive oil that works as a binder. And then I have a crab and seafood seasoning that I used on the fish and you can use any seafood seasoning of your choice. I have some Cajun seasoning that I'm going to be putting on there as well. You just want to make sure that you know you season it enough until you know your ancestor says no. And then I have here some garlic powder followed by a bit of oregano. And then I went ahead and I just mixed everything together until everything was coated evenly in the spices like so. And then I did that for the shrimps here as you can see the same exact seasonings. So now I have my cast iron skillet on and I'm just putting in a little bit of oil and once it gets hot I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in my salmon. So I put the salmon slices down and I cooked it for maybe a total of three to five minutes per side and once it was browned on one side I just flipped it around you know make sure you use like utensils to flip it because this thing will give you a hard time. But anyway back to the program. So that's how the salmon looked after a couple of minutes and then I did that with the shrimp as well. I put the shrimp in in the cast iron skillet and I cooked it on each side for maybe about nowhere between two to three minutes. That's something shrimp cooks very quickly and overcooking it will cause it to turn hard. So I flipped it over and then I added some butter into the mix as well so that you know it gets like the nice extra flavors and then after I let everything cool down, I took the salmon and I started to cut the salmon down into pieces as we're going to go in and start making this pasta. So I boiled two cups of pasta ahead of time. So right now I'm building my sauce. So I added in some olive oil followed by some onions and some bell peppers. And I gave it a little bit of a saute for maybe two to three minutes. I like my vegetables a little crunchy. So then I added in some garlic. That's about two garlic cloves that I'm giving a mix to. And then followed by that, I went ahead and I added in about one cup of tomato sauce. So you give everything a mix, let everything absorb its flavors. And then followed by that, I went and added in a little bit of the Cajun seasoning and some red pepper flakes and some oregano. So I give it a mix and then that's just a little bit of the pasta water that I had reserved. That's optional if you want to use that. If not, if you have chicken stock, you can use that as well. And then I went in and I added in about... That's a pinch of sugar. That's just to like, you know, balance the acidity. And then I followed by some heavy cream seasoning that I went ahead and used. So I'm giving everything a stir and just making sure everything absorbs. And then I add the pasta to it too, just to give the pasta a bit of a mix. And like, you know, if it's not enough sauce for you, you can always add in a little bit of extra tomato sauce or tomato paste, some chicken stock, a little bit of heavy cream, whatever you have on hand. So I continued to mix it and then I went ahead and I started to put in my shrimp and then afterwards I went in and I put in my salmon. And what you just want to do, you just want to make sure everything is combined and everything is mixed up properly. And you know, gave it like another stir and making sure that everything was distributed evenly giving it my boo boo boops effects and friends there you have it a simple seafood pasta you can add any other seafood of your choice but i chose shrimp and salmon because that's what i had on hand listen i do this for a way of therapy you know this is not something that i'm trying to impress y'all with like you know if you want to try this recipe by all means go ahead but don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and share a video with a friend Again, thank you for taking the time out to watch my videos. You know, this is not easy, but you know, you could have watched other foodies on YouTube making videos, but I'm glad you came and you chose to watch my page. So thank you for watching. All right. Until then, friends, next time.
Thank you.